Hello everyone and welcome to the CRMX2 tutorial. In addition to that, we're also going to look at some features in the app that makes it even cooler when working with CRMX2. Now let's start with what is CRMX2 actually. I have a starter next to me with four antennas and back in the day that would mean that we could transmit four universes. Lumen Radio came out with a new update called CRMX2, which means that we can transmit two uni universes per antenna, which also means that the Stardust can transmit in a total of eight universes. Together with the CRMX2 update, Lumen Radio also released two major features, linking key and universe naming. These features work for both CRMX Classic and also CRMX2. Just keeping in mind that not all transmitters are capable of doing this. So what is linking key and why use the linking key? From before when working with CRMX, for instance, using lots of lights, we had to unlink lights and we could also not just move them to another transmitter, had to unlink and when we have multiple universes, we also need to uh, link the first universe and then turn on the second universe and everything getting a little bit complicated. The linking key is sort of the same as a radio pin. Once it's, it matches, they are linked up automatically. So using the linking key, we also do not need to unlink CRM X. So linking key has made everything way easier when working with wireless DMX. Linking key is one of the features that were released at the same time as CRMX2. Linking key is a personal eight digit code, which you can set in the Stardust directly here or by using the Stardust web interface. Afterwards, we of course need to set the same linking key into the lights, which we want to link up and setting the linking key in the lights. Afterwards, you also have to choose from A to H, which universe you want to put them into. Once the linking key between the lights and the Stardust matches, they will link up all automatically. Another cool thing which comes with this linking key feature is if you have two locations, two Stardust, set the same linking key into both Stardusts. When you move the lights from the first location to the second, all the lights will link up automatically. Important to say is that this is not creating a sort of mesh network or extending ranges. Very important is that Stardusts with the same linking key must never be in range of each other. First of all, we need to set the linking key in the Stardust. So as I said before, it can be set in the Stardust directly from the menu or we can use the web interface that we will come into a little bit later. First of all, we need to hit here linking. Then we need to scroll all the way down and find linking key. Now here we need to set the key. So again, we just press the little wheel. And in our case, we are just gonna call the linking key one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we want to confirm it. So now we have set a linking key in to the Stardust. Now all Astera lights is of course compatible with CRMX2. And we have been working hard on getting firmwares for both the app, but also the lights ready for the CRMX2. You need to make sure that the lights are at the latest firmware 5.12.96 and the app version has to be from version 12. And of course, you need to make sure to update the lights to be able to be compatible with the CRMX2. Now, once we have set the linking key into the Stardust by using the menu directly on the Stardust or using the web interface, we also need to set a linking key in the lights. There are three ways to do so using the lights display or two ways to do it in the app. We can use the list of connected lights or we can use the DMX configurator. Now the first way to set linking key in the lights is by using the display. So we need to find here DMX settings, press the minus CRMX by link key. Now we of course need to have it match between the Stardust, what we just set, which is then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and of course eight. Press the enter and then it asks you if you want to use CRMX Classic 
or CRMX2. In our case, we want to use CRMX2. Here you can choose the universe number, so one up to eight. We will just put this tube in universe one. What you see now, once the tube actually have the matching linking key as the Stardust have, it links up automatically and of course we placed it in universe one. Now there's also two ways from the app to set the linking key into the lights. The first one is using the list of connected lights and you of course need to make sure to have the lights paired to the app before you can do this. One way to do it in the app is by using the list of connected lights. So let's say we want all the five Titan tubes to be in the same universe and also on the same Stardust, just in case you are using multiple Stardusts. First thing we have to do is to mark the whole list of lights or the five lights we want to have in the first universe. Mark them here on the left side and then there's a little magic wand top right corner. What we of course have to do is to set the DMX parameters such as DMX profile, pixel count, etc. Next thing is to tap the link by link key. It opens here, we want to use CRMX2 and now you can choose whether you want to have it in universe from A to H. Once this is chosen, we just choose A, then we can tap here for the link key. We need it to match and that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Press the OK button, the lights will go out and you will also see that they now will receive a signal. So once the linking key is matching, they are linked up to the Stardust in Universe A. Using the list of lights can be use useful if you do have fewer amounts of lights, but this is indeed also a great thing if you do want to do some troubleshooting or maybe you want to move a light from one universe to the other, then the list of lights here can be very helpful. Next up is the DMX configurator, which we can do with the app. The DMX configurator is very helpful if you have a huge amount of lights and also doing the DMX setup before mounting the lights and also having the lights aligned next to each other. In addition to that, the DMX configurator also automatically jumps to the next universe once a universe gets full. Now let's set up these tubes with the DMX configurator. The DMX configurator is to be found in the main menu, the three lines up in the right corner. Now we simply just scroll down and then we go to actions for all lights. Up on top you will see the DMX configuration. Press here and then we go in. All right. Lamp type, these are Titan tubes, so we have to choose this one. Start address is number one. In this case, we do not need to add a fixture number, but in case you need to, we can add it. Next thing is to add here a DMX profile, and I'm going to choose a DIM CCT Green Magenta Crossfade to RGB, and I also want to have a 16 pixel mode. I also want to add a strobe. Once you have set all the DMX parameters, we can now go to link by link key. And the link key, of course, has to be the same typed in as what we have set in the Stardust already. So let's press link by link key. Here we see CRMX 2A and the link key is already set to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, what we also set in the Stardust earlier. Press the OK button and what we are going to do is press send up on top. Now you will see the lights, they start to flicker, which also means that they are prepared to accept configurations, what we do here. So let's start with the first one, which is DMX address number one. And this is our first tube. Accept configuration, press the enter button right there. Next up is plus 128 in the app and then press the next light just like that. Press again the plus 128 and let's just continue nice and easy just like that what you also see link by link key is that it automatically jumped to universe b so once the universe gets full it will automatically jump so with a huge amount of lights this is a very efficient way just aligning all the lights next to each other before mounting them and doing the whole dmx setup just like this with the dmx configurator 
And again, since the linking key is matching in the light and the stardust, you will also see it links up automatically and gives us a CRMX signal also shown in the lights display. When we go back to the list of connected lights, you also see that we have given the lights a DMX address and also shows us the CRMX signal so we can monitor everything here from the app as well. The second feature is universe naming. Using the Stardust web interface, you can name your universes just as you want to. So once the Astera lights is linked with the Stardust here, the lights will also display the universe name that you have set in the Stardust. Now to set a universe name, we need to enter the Stardust web interface. And the way we do that is to open our browser and then say HTTP and then stardust.local. If you do have multiple stardust at the same time, then you can also enter the IP address of the individual stardust in your web browser as well. I'm of course connected with an ethernet cable to my laptop and also see that it is connected. Next thing we can do is to go to output. Output A, which we also saw earlier when we were linked with the Stardust, that the tubes were displaying Titan Tubes 1. We could also do here, for instance, Output B, we could call it Astera 2. The next one we could do, for instance, Titan Tube 3 and so on. So down here we can basically put in a name which we want to call our universe. There is of course much more to this web interface. I just wanted to show how you can set your own universe name and then in your Astera lights, this universe name, once it's linked, will of course display you the universe name in the lights so it's easier to identify. So using the Stardust web interface to change universe name, I actually just changed it to Astera 2, which will then display here in the light Astera 2 and of course change between CRMX signal and also the universe name so it's easier to identify when working with many universes. And not to be confused, the little name that runs down below here is basically the name that you have set in the light in the app to display. So the name of the light will be displayed down here and up on top together with the CRMX signal will then display the universe name which you have set in each one of the outputs. CRMX2 with the Stardust setting linking key into the Stardust and also into the light. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful on your way to working with wireless DMX and CRMX2. Now with all this CRMX2 and linking key talk, we also added a feature to the app regards to the Astera box. We have a feature where we can switch between TX and RX mode and normally before we needed to plug in the little DMX adapter cable to activate the CRMX module, but we can actually activate it directly from the app now which also makes it super easy to prep the lights before a gig. The lights need to be from firmware version 5.12.96 and the app needs to be from version 12. Now what you see here, I have my Astera box turned on, it's also blinking here blue. What you also see on the right side in the app is a new little button called CRMX. When we push this CRMX button, you will also see that something happens on the Astera box. It's the CRMX module being active. Just to show you real quick, now we are in TX mode also shown here on the Astera box. And we can also just with one click, instead of doing all the combinations of pushing, holding down and changing the mode, we can now do it directly from the app with just one click. So let's click the RX mode, also change to RX mode here on the Astera box. There are more things to the RX mode and also the TX mode. We will jump into that just in a few seconds. Now let's start with the RX mode. The RX mode can display the universe name. We already talked about that we can set a universe name in the Stardust. This will also be displayed so we can see it in the app once it's linked up. Doing or using the Astera box as a receiver, we can also use the link key to, from the app to link 
from the receiver, the Astera box, to the Stardust. We can also unlink directly from the Astera app. Now, the Astera box can also be used as a receiver, just as well as it can be used as a transmitter. What you see here, once we have pushed the CRMX button, it will show the status, so if it's connected or not. It can also show a universe color. Let's say you are using a moonlight, then it will also be displayed here if you have the Astera box connected or linked to a moonlight. And it will also display the universe name. Now, I still have the Stardust here and still with the link key 12345678. Let's put it in universe A, P press here, and then we can basically see that it gets a signal just by using the link key. In addition to that, as I just mentioned, it's also showing the universe name which we previously have set in the web interface for the Stardust. The other mode, what the Astera box can also do, is the TX mode. When we are, which we will also see just in a few seconds, is that we can set a universe name which is also transmitted and shown in the lights display. Of course, we can link the lights directly here without pressing the link button physically. We can also unlink the lights and a new thing, coexistence settings. Now, first of all, let's jump here to the TX mode, also changed here on the Astera box right now. First of all, we can change the universe name, so it could, for instance, be, let's say, Astera 12, just, let's say, Astera 12. Afterwards, we can also link with lights directly here. Press here to link lights now. So this is where you do not necessarily need to touch the Astera box physically. Another thing is that all lights that have been linked, you can unlink the lights here from this menu as well. And then we have coexisting settings. This basically means that when using the Astera box as a Serum X transmitter, you can open or basically shut down areas of the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum not to interfere with the camera department, sound department, etc. The last thing here in this menu is the DMX tester. So once you have linked all the lights, you have also set all the DMX parameters, then we can actually test if this is working. I just brought in a light here to show you how it works. So let's say we have Astera 12 as a universe name. The CRMX module here is active and we are not linked to any transmitters with this Titan tube. Now we can go to link with lights and press here to link lights now. Now we are going to link. And now we will also see that it switches to no DMX, which in theory means that the transmitter is linked to the light. Afterwards, this is maybe good for prepping, but when you plug it into a lighting desk, then it will also display that it has DMX signal. The universe name is also displayed here, and now we can go to the DMX tester. Now we can take channel 1, which should be the red. This is the red. Then we can also see if the green is working. Here we also have the blue. We can, of course, start to, to mix it and see here it's actually working. Another thing is that we have this auto right here, so we have a fade. This is also, of course, a way to test it, and we also have a RGB chase just to make sure that we are linked with our transmitter. So that was all about CRMX2 and the linking key between the lights and the stardust and also the features in the app when it comes down to the Astera box. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.